Hey guys, it's Julia and for today's video I'm going to be doing the hashtag a year a thon read along, read a thon. Basically, every single month they have where they read books that are in a certain genre or category and stuff like that. And I've never participated in this read a thon before, but I'm going to be doing the one for obviously March, and that is Horror and Suspense Week, and it goes from the 7th to the 13th, or the 14th, I'll put the dates here. And I am adding thriller into that category a bit, but yes, let's get into it. I am also reading a lot of books, and I have a lot of stuff for school going on, but I don't know how much I'll be able to read during the week, but I might vlog during the week and then post it at the end of the week how much like about my reading progress and stuff like that but I've just recently started Room by Emma Donoghue. I don't know if this will continue during the readathon or if I'll set it aside or if I'll finish it before the readathon but if if not then this might be on the TBR you know but yeah. I'm also currently reading Salem's Lot by Stephen King which I've been reading for school and this book I'm not going to finish during the readathon but I am going to be reading chunks throughout that week so I'll let you know during the thing how much I'm reading of it but yeah pretty big book so I'm definitely not gonna finish that but yeah here it is and then for my physical TBR first up I have here is Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes this is the sequel to The Naturals which they call this a YA version of Criminal Minds which usually gets on my nerves a little bit because Criminal Minds is my favorite thing ever but it's but yeah, this is the sequel. I really enjoyed the first book and I read it a little while ago, so hopefully I can get to the sequel because I've been putting it off for a little bit now, so yes. Next up, I have Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake. I've owned this book for a little bit now and I believe this is about a ghost who is haunting this house and then this ghost hunter comes in and I believe she falls for the ghost hunter. Sounds a little ridiculous, but we'll see how I like it. And I mean, the cover's cool and we'll see. It, they say it's horror, but again, then again, it is YA. So I wonder how scary it actually is. Not that YA books aren't scary, but we'll see how this goes. So yeah. Next up I have is Suicide Forest by Jeremy Bates. It's actually a real place. It's a forest in Japan where the most people have committed suicide. And this is a story about three kids who go into this forest and they discover all the myths and all the things about it. And yeah, I think it'll be an interesting book. It's a series that you don't necessarily have to read in order, but it's the world's scariest places. And this is book one, so Suicide Forest. And then I'm guessing that the second book and the third book are just different scary places around the world but I'm looking forward to this hopefully I can get to this during the week but we'll see what happens and next up I have Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes I'm really nervous for this this is the sequel to You by Carolyn Kepnes and that is about a stalker named Joe who comes becomes obsessed with this girl and starts to stalk her and it's a creepy story but I have been looking forward to this but seeing reviews I've heard a lot of negative reviews scared me a little bit and I read like the first two pages and I was like what what's happening I don't even know but hopefully I'll enjoy it hopefully it won't let me down too much I'm kind of going in with really low expectations but we'll see what happens because you was my one of my favorite books the last year so hopefully this won't disappoint me too much but I mean whatever these are the books that I'm hoping to get through throughout the week. Again, we'll see because, you know, I'm a student. School takes over my life a little bit. Not that I'm going to complain too much, but yeah, that happens sometimes. So we'll see how far I get. I'll, maybe I'll only end up reading one book and maybe I'll end up reading all of them. So we'll see how it goes. Good luck to you guys who are all participating and let me know what you're reading down below if you are participating. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time with a new video.